Hey to YouTube, this is One One Bronson back with the next Sergio Cabucci uh, movie review for this week. And now it's time for The Mercenary, which ranks at number three in the Sergio Cabucci ranking. So we're in the top three now. The Mercenary here from 1968, terrific spaghetti western, uh, the first of Sergio Cabucci's uh, Zapata westerns, Mexican revolutionary westerns, which of course he would follow up with Compañeros, which we covered last week. And he made a third uh, revolutionary western, which of course was um, What Am I Doing in the Middle of the Revolution. Um, this is his first, and in my opinion, the best. Um, stars Franco Nero, Tony Musanti, and uh, Jack Palance, along with um, a couple of uh, Corbucci regulars, like Eduardo Friardo, he's in this film. Uh, the music is by Ennio Morricone, the maestro Ennio Morricone. One of my all-time favorite Morricone tracks is in this film, uh, La Arena, which plays during the uh, final duel in the film. Another great cast member is Giovanna Raleigh, who was the main uh, female uh, role in this film, the main female uh, actress, who is beautiful, and she does a great job in the film, and I liked her a lot. She was great, terrific. Um, movie is written by, of course, co-written by Sergio Corbucci himself. Like I said, he always, pretty much always has a hand himself in writing a screenplay he contributes to the screenplays and everything. Uh, but there's other two other writers on this film, Franco Salinas and also um, Luciano Vincenzoni. Hope I pronounced both gentlemen's names right. Um, Luciano Vin Vincenzoni, he actually was uh, the writer on Sergio Leone's uh, Few Dolls More and the good the Ben Yagi was a writer on that as well. So, well-established writer. So the script is great. Um, and the film is great. It's a great film, um, filled with great shootouts, plenty of action, comedy, drama, humor, whatever, you name it, it's all there. It's a great one. Anyway, let's get into the gist of the plot. Um, similar to Campaneros, which was made, of course, after. In this film, we have Franco Nero as a Polish uh, mercenary instead of a, a Swedish arms dealer. He hires himself out to the highest bidder. He just happens to hire himself out to Tony Musanti's character, who plays Paco Roman, a young uh, revolutionary. And those two form an sort of uneasy alliance. And together they plan to make enough money for the, to finance the revolution and whatever. And the Polak, played by uh, his character name is Sergio Kowalski, played by Franco Nero. He actually gets the most money out of it and the most benefits. He actually draws up a pretty great contract in his advantage. So there's an uneasy alliance. There's a little bit of double crosses going on uh, over the course of the film. Uh, by the end, of course, both men uh, realize that they have respect for each other and everything like that, just like Campaneros. But of course, you also have Jack Palance in this film, who this time plays Curly. Uh, weird, weird character, quirky character, but he's an excellent villain once again. Uh, he, uh, pretty early on in the film, he gets uh, sort of ridiculed or humiliated, if you will, by Kowalski and Paco Roman. And pretty much the entire film, he wants to get revenge on him, he wants to get him. And then you also have Eduardo Friardo, who has a big bone uh, to pick with Tony Musanti. Uh, so he's also on their trail. Uh, along the way they also meet Colomba, played by Giovanna Rally. Uh, she becomes quite attached to Paco Roman. Uh, she also uh, plays a good part. Uh, she also gets tangled up uh, with, with, with everybody. Um, it's a great uh, plot, it's a great film, it's a great revolutionary one. Plenty of shootouts. Franco Nero using the machine gun quite a lot in this one again. But uh, yeah, great action scenes. There is a great final duel in this film um, in a bull ring uh, with the best, one of the best tracks Morricone ever made, in my opinion, La Arena. Uh, that, that song plays over that uh, final shootout. Uh, he, Tarantino used that track as well in uh, Kill Bill Volume 2 in a scene in which Uma Furman, aka The Bride, uh, has to punch her way out of the coffin, that scene. That, that, that song there is, is the very same one. I can't play it for copyright uh, purposes, but otherwise I would have. Uh, but it's a, it's a great soundtrack and it's a great movie, really. I almost don't know what I'm 
I'm, what I'm to say about this film because I just love it that much the, the performances by Franco Nero, Tony Musanti and Jack Palance and Giovanna Raleigh and Eduardo Foyardo it, it's all great it's a terrific spaghetti western it's a great I, ju I literally just got done watching it I was enjoying it once again I was glued to the screen um, I really don't have much uh, to say about this film uh, maybe I can say a couple of favorite scenes well I can tell you my all-time favorite scene from this film is definitely the, the final showdown in, in the bull ring it's fantastic um, and I guess I should put a little spoiler warning. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I guess I should put a little spoiler warning here for if you don't want to get you know the outcome of the film. So a little spoiler warning. Skip to this little point if you don't want to get spoiled because I'm literally going to talk about uh, the finale. Well, even though it's, it's not the finale, it's about ten to fifteen minutes even after that. But it's definitely the um, the climax to the one part of the story anyway but uh, anyway here we go last spoiler warning go to this timestamp the final duel between uh it, it's sort of like the good the bad and the ugly there's there's a, there's a freeway sort of in the in the arena even though franco nero uh of course the lead you know sergio kowalski the Pollock, um he doesn't actually get involved within the actual shootout but he, he acts as like the referee, it's sort of like for a few dollars more, that, that's a better comparison. A few dollars more, but Clint Eastwood is like the referee between uh, Lee Van Cleve and Jean Maria Volante. Uh, actually, let, let's set it up. Paco Roman is in the bull ring, he's working as a clown, rodeo clown, whatever. Uh, the show is over, Jack Palance and his men come, they hold Tony Mosanti at gunpoint. Uh, Franco Nero shoots uh, Jack Palance's men. And. Uh, La Arena kicks in the track by Morricone and then Franco Nero gives them both their guns uh, with only one bullet and he says you know I will strike the bell three times uh, you guys walk in opposite directions at the first stroke of the bell you turn and shoot simple enough and then of course it builds suspense and tension everything that the music uh, uh, crescendos and whatever the music you know kicks up and of course, then um, Tony Rosanti and Jack Palance at the first stroke of the bell, they, sh they turn around, they shoot each other, actually, both men got shot. But uh, Jack Palance got shot fatally. Actually, Palance is wearing this, like, uh, sort of suit, and he has this, um, this flower in his, in his lapel. Uh, is that what you call it? Anyway, he's shot right through that, and the blood comes out. It's actually a visual reference of that, as you can you can find that in Django Unchained, uh, when, uh, I guess, spoils for that movie as well, when uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Calvin Candy, gets shot. It's it's a visual reference to the mercenary. Uh, actually, I will play you the, those, those scenes back to back. Uh, you guys can see the, uh, the similarities, so. But it's a great way to end it. Uh, so, Tony Masanti, uh, is also shot. Kowalski turns him in. Uh, there's like a final double cross there, but then there's another double cross because Giovanni Rally turns them both into the Federales, you know, and the general played by uh, Eduardo Fuyardo. And uh, they make their way out of that, and then there is the final, um, final scene actually, uh, in which Franco Nero and Antonio Sante say their goodbyes to each other. Actually, Franco Nero proposes a partnership, but Tony Musanti is like, no, sorry, Gringo, I have to fight my own revolutions, uh, stuff like that. And then there's what, the final time where Franco Nero rescues uh, Tony Musanti from Eduardo Friardo. And then Franco Nero rides off into the sunset, and that's the end of the film. So all in all, it's a great film, highly recommend it. Uh, I give this one a four and a half stars out of five. This is... This is so good. This is so good. The Mercenary, 1968, uh, produced by Alberto uh, Grimaldi, who also did the Sergio Leone films. Uh, it's an epic movie. It has an epic feel. It is epic. Anyway, that's The Mercenary. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, and join me next week when we, will, when we will be taking a look at the seminal 1966 Sergio Capucci film. Django! Anyway, join me next week for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, this has been 
101 Brunson signing off and saying adios amigos or adios compañeros. Take care. Yeah, and his name is Django. Django, the title of a film you'll never forget.